Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I just wanted to talk about what you guys should be spending your flux on. Now, I've had a few people in the past bring this up to me in the past, or just like Discord DMs on like what they should be buying, they're like a certain amount of PR, what they should be focusing on, stuff like that. And I never really thought about making a video like this until yesterday. Carlos, shoutouts to you, you know who you are, uh, asked me what they should be spending their flux on. And I was like, you know, I haven't really made a video on this before, and I feel like a lot of you guys would be curious. So I was like, sure, why not? I'll, I'll spread my knowledge here a little bit. Now, before I even talk about anything, I just want to say, when you see it over here, anyway, OC thing, when you have a game like Trove, you have so many things to worry about. You have power rank, you have mastery, but you have a lot of different levels to it. And what I mean by levels to it, I, mean, like, I guess there's your... Uh, levels xp wise as well but there's so many things to focus on it's kind of hard to decide what you're supposed to be spending your flux on because i don't know at some point you might want to focus on power ring so you can use that flux on your gems because if you try to level up your gems it's going to cost a little bit of flux as well until you get to this point where it gets kind of weird but you're going to be spending flux and your dust to level up your gems and you can also do the gem uh, dust profit thing which i've talked about in a previous video before but basically level up a gem to 15 the uh, stellar ones and then you loot collect it you get profit from that good to do it on a wednesday good to do it when you have the uh, fixture as well for that but we have that we have dragons you can literally buy a dragon so if we type in golden in here in the marketplace we can go to the back end of this and you can find actual full dragons so this is the golden valiant one obviously you don't want to spend 50 million but just find the dragon that you're looking for type it in here and it'll come up in there so you have dragons you can get you have a bunch of mastery items that are super cheap that i highly recommend just getting over with out of the way early on and like i said it just depends on what you're trying to get at from this game and what you're trying to get at from this current moment but i'm just going to give you guys some general advice and hopefully you can just pick one of those and just depending on whatever day it is because i'll talk about that in a second too you can use your flux accordingly to whatever day of the week it is for trove anyway let's get into the flux breakdown here so if you have a couple hundred thousand flux you have a decent amount of flux to start leveling up your gems so that is farming farming gem boxes loot collecting the uh, stellar ones when they're at 15 I talk about this in a different video. And depending on how much gem boxes you farm, you'll be going through a lot of flux, but if you don't farm that much, then you probably won't be spending that much on flux. So in return, not that much gem dust. But what I also like to tell people is go over to your marketplace. And this works especially if you're new to the game because you're missing so many mastery items. So you can just click this button here, hide collected. Uh, the screen's going to look a little bit different if you're on console because no mods. And then uh, if you don't have this specific mod, but it should be the same thing here, just hide collected hit search i obviously have everything in the game so it's not going to come up with anything but you guys will so i want you guys to sort through everything in here so go through allies get everything that's super cheap the moment that these items start going above like your limit of how much flux you want to spend then just stop right there and obviously you don't want to get the ones that are in bulk you want to try to get the ones that are just one or like two or whatever just so you get the mastery you're done with it you don't have to deal with that item if you have 800 then you would learn one then you have 799 just left over then you have to sell those or give them away or something but if you have a couple hundred thousand even a hundred thousand or like i don't know fifty thousand you can do this go to go to allies here uh, get all of the cheap ones once they start getting to a certain point and actually while you're there while you have a certain amount of flux so let's just say you have 100k flux. I want you guys to put a limit on that flux just so you don't go spending everything. So if you have 100k, uh, this, this is going to be different for everyone, obviously. But if I had 100k, I would put 50k on my limit. So if I go below that, uh, you know, everything below that is just for emergencies. Like if I absolutely need that flux or whatever the case may be. But for you guys, it might be different. It might be 40k, might be 10k, but just keep emergency flux as a reserve. If you really have to, you can throw it on an alt, but it's going to be kind of difficult because of the whole tax thing on Trove with the marketplace, so all of that's kind of whack. And if you have like a million flux, I don't know, try not to go below 100k or something like that. Just try to find a limit to your flux amount. So once you do all of that for allies, you can go over to auras are kind of expensive. Same with costumes for that matter. Emblems can be expensive. You could uh, check out some emblems to see if there's any cheap ones. Uh, fishing poles are somewhat cheap there's a couple in here for this amount so if this is too much for you just don't bother with it but if you have millions of flux like a hundred like i don't know 20 mil or whatever then this shouldn't be that much for you and just make sure to not go below your limit and do that with every item in here and like i said once they start rising to a certain point where you're like okay i don't want to spend that much flux on that that much mastery then that's where you just stop and then you just move on to the next thing uh recipes are going to be super cheap there's so many recipes in the game now and you can buy them in bulk, but just make just uh, I don't know, I'm pressing Y here. I don't know what that button is for everyone else. But if you can get to this menu, go to crafting and then just go to whatever recipe you need. 
see how many you need of that recipe. You can also just type it in at the top here and then it'll be so much easier just buying however much you need instead of going overboard and then having to sell those. Or you can just loot collect it for blank scrolls because that works too. Actually, that's a little fun fact of how to make flux as well. You can actually buy your super cheap recipes, loot collect those, and then sell that for blank scrolls because uh, pretty sure... I don't know, last time I checked, they went up in price. Forgot to change this to any, and they are 1800 each. Uh, prices are going to vary, obviously, so just be on the lookout for that. I don't want to be a guidance for the marketplace value numbers and all that, but you're also going to need these things for like a bunch of other things later on, so it's a nice thing to have, I guess. So anyway, uh, doing all of this, if you have a couple hundred thousand flux, if you have a couple million flux, or even a, like, I don't know, 20 million, 100 million, it's good to do that. Now, if you're in the 100 millions, like 200 millions, you can probably just look for a dragon at that point. So you can just do the whole method of golden, uh, go to which dragon you need, and then see if that dragon has uh, the golden version. And if it's not in the marketplace, you can check trade chat. Just try not to get scammed. I feel like that's a pretty big thing that happens in Trove. And most of that could be avoided if they increase the value that you can put in in trade chat, or uh, in the trade post, I mean. Because I'm pretty sure the limit of how much flux you can put in the trade post is 100k or something like that. You can't go over that. Same with Glim or any other resource for that matter. And something I really want to rant about is, I made a post about this in the Trovasaurus Discord, but if we go over to the geotab like why can't all of this be like the ones that are in here like just organized where it's not in the way because this is like old school trove i don't know how many of you guys played back in like 2016 or 15 or whatever but shapestone infinium all of that used to be just like this and you can put them in your personal chest and then at some point they ended up doing all of this so they, they should just do that with geo J just saying anyway back to your flux so we talked about the basics, and like I said, it really just depends on what you're trying to get at from the game at that current moment. Now, let's just say you want to buy a character. Maybe you want to buy resources to get further in a bench, like, I don't know, the Chaos Core crafting bench, because you need a bunch of resources in there. Maybe you want to finish the uh, Christology bench or your modules for Geode, uh, get all the resources for that. My advice for that is to make use of your uh, weeklies. So I'm just pressing F1 to open up this. I don't know how you guys do it, but you can do learn more. Uh, it opens up this. But you can kind of just memorize it. It's not like these are going to be changing. Patron helps a little bit. Let's look at Tuesday, for example. A lot of you guys might need ore. Ore is a pretty common thing, like nitro. Nitro is pretty important. Leveling up your gear. And the thing with uh, Tuesday Gathering Day is you get bonus ore, and then with Patron you get bonus. So, like you mine one ore, and then you get like uh, three with Patron. Just something like that. You just get extra of uh, whatever you're trying to farm. A quick thing to note is that on Tuesday, all of that ore stuff is going to drop in price because everyone's going to be selling it. So obviously, you're going to be getting a lot of that resource. You're going to be farming it all day. At the end of the day, people are just going to list them on the market. So it's going to be cheaper on the first couple days, and then it gets a little bit more expensive, then it goes back to cheap. So just look out for the prices for that. Like uh, Monday's Shadow Shards are going to drop in price. This used to be uh, Shadow Caches, but they changed it. So when you did uh, Shadow Towers back in the day, you could get a bunch of those. Or if you had, uh, I don't know, if you had Shadow Caches in bulk, they'd be cheaper on Mondays and then they'd get more expensive throughout the week. And then they'd go back to cheap, but they removed that. So now we got Shadow Shards and other things here. But yeah, just make use of your days. Like uh, Wednesday for your gem dust, you'll be spending less flux because it'll take uh, less resources to upgrade your gem. And then with patron, obviously, and then the uh, fixture from the club and basically things like that. So be on, be on the lookout for that. And honestly, just try to pay attention to one thing that you're trying to farm in Trove. So at this very moment, I need to focus on powering for myself. So what I would do is I would farm gem boxes all week. On Wednesday, I would save my flux, all of my gem boxes, open everything, try to get as much dust as I can and I would just work on whatever character I want. Or let's just say a new event comes out, uh, there's more mastery items for me to farm. I'm going to put power rank to a side. I'll hold off on it because I'm not really too worried on power rank. I have a farming character that can do whatever I want to. I can solo whatever I want to. So if you can get to that point, use your flux to get to that point. So like, uh, I don't know, buying nitro to level up your gear. Uh, obviously the gem stuff we already talked about. Getting whatever materials you really need. Forge fragments for uh, crystal gear and stuff like that. You know what I mean. So for me personally, uh, if new mastery items came out, I'm putting all of that power ring stuff to a side. Even if I can't solo properly in, I don't know, Uber 11, for example, like let's just say I struggle a little bit, I'm still not going to be too worried. I might focus up a little bit on power ring, specifically just uh, more damage if I wasn't able to solo it, uh, get to the point where I can farm with one character. And then from there, I could focus on the uh, mastery stuff that I want to focus on. Because uh, obviously my main goal in this game is just mastery. And then uh, power rank is just like a side thing. But you basically want to balance the two. So you want to go for one of them. I would recommend just working on uh, a couple characters. 
get to the point where you can farm with those characters whether that be bosses or uh, delve farming or u11 farming for gems whatever the case may be and then put all of your effort on mastery try to get to 500 mastery because that's where all the benefits end after 500 and then yeah, it's 100 for geode until they change that and hopefully all of that makes sense to you guys now a couple other things to note like me personally i'm a little bit low on credits right now so i could anticipate that i know an event is going to be coming out soon uh, at the moment it's the 22nd of september actually i think there's a current one going on right now the fire and ice one yeah the one over here the battle of fire and ice it ends on the 25th of september but i know the october event is going to come out a couple weeks after that so in preparation for that event since I want to focus on mastery, I need credits. So I'm going to focus on getting credits. So I need flux. So I'd farm flux to get credit pouches. And usually when events first come out, the credit pouches will go up in price. They used to be 200k. Now they're at 4 million each. But I know that they sometimes drop down to 3 million. So I kind of just look at the prices for these and kind of just take my best judgment of uh, when it's approximately like not necessarily the lowest of the low but pretty low. Right now I'm probably going to save. I don't want to spend 4 million on credit pouches. There's also none in bulk, but I'm pretty sure in a couple weeks they're going to drop down in price a little bit. So I'll focus on getting those. So just do things like that. And usually when events come out, certain items are going to go up in price. Like, uh, I don't know why, but events require you to get gardening items for whatever reason or whatever item you might need. So if you have a bunch of those specific items, like I don't know what the October one's going to have, for example, but like to finish an event, you might need a certain amount of resources for something. So those prices are going to go up. So if you have those, you can sell them on that day to get the flux. This is kind of a mix of uh, like what to use your flux on and how to get flux. But hopefully you guys are getting the picture of what I'm trying to say. Because everything just depends on you and what you want from this game. Now, I know I threw a bunch of information at you guys, but hopefully you can kind of pick and choose what you're trying to get at from this game, what your goals are for this game, and how you're going to get to each goal. The main goal just being having a farming character. And from the farming character, like, I don't know, let's just say you pick Neon Ninja, that's your farming character. And then you'll need like a boss character, so make sure you get a character that's good for bosses, like, I don't know, Solarion, for example. And then once you have those two characters, you can focus on other characters on the side, like maybe as like a, I don't know, a side hobby. But then you can put most of your attention on farming flux and using that flux on mastery. And like I said before, just getting all of the cheap stuff out of the way. When events are coming out, uh, focus on credit pouches for the packs or potentially credits for other things. Uh, I don't know there's uh, costumes in the styles tab here. You can, I don't know, focus on getting all of those maybe. Whatever the case may be, after 500 mastery for Trove, there's not really much value after that. Because you get your damage, you get your health. I guess you get, I don't know, one magic find after uh, 500, which is cool. You get that for uh, ranking up in general too, but you also have your geode. 100 mastery gives you you get 10 light for every mastery you go up up to 100 and after 100 it kind of caps out now i know i didn't give you an exact answer of what to spend your flux on but i gave you ideas of what kind of goals you should set what you can do to achieve those goals like farming gem boxes and then waiting until your wednesday to open them using your flux to get the gem dust hopefully that part makes sense if you're brand new to the game that might not make sense to you guys but if you start leveling up your gems you're gonna know that it costs gem dust and it costs flux crystals are gonna be a little bit weird but it's all the same thing there i also didn't really want this video to go on for super long i was kind of thinking it'd be a short video but it ended up being kind of long but i threw in a lot of information out there so hopefully some of it is of value to you and before i sign off i want your guys's opinion on something so i want to do more things with youtube i want to do more things with you guys all of my subscribers you guys watching you know all of you guys that made it to the end of this video and i want your guys's opinion so if you have made it this far now i'm not going to say to do this but if you want to support me even further you can check out my only fans and i'm just kidding there's there's none of that in the description don't even bother checking there but i was thinking about starting up a patron now it's not something you guys have to do like i said but i want to do like some cool little perks to go with it the people that support me i want to like shout you guys at the end of my videos like a little outro type thing uh, maybe do some farming with you guys whenever i'm uh, not working or too busy with other things giving you guys advice uh, keeping you updated on like what's going on with i don't know anything dog updates i can post uh, pictures of my dog there and i can kind of post a lot more on there i have a couple ideas of what i want to do for that but like i said i want to hear your guys' opinion obviously i don't have to do that but i want to do something a little bit more like i can include you people in my patron in my uh, future tro videos I have a couple ideas lined up and I, I haven't really done them, but I have been wanting to do them for a while. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. 
but I can include you guys. So that would be pretty cool. I could give you guys like a little sneak peek of uh, my future videos and my, my future plans with uh, certain videos. I don't know, things like that. Let me know what you guys think. I've been also thinking about merch, but I'm not too sure about all of that just yet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you think it's a horrible idea, you don't want me to do it, you know, Maybe I won't do it. If some of you guys are on board with it, you know, th that would be cool because I do have some cool ideas that I want to do. And even though I'm getting busy, I, I want to try to find as much time as I can to do all of that stuff. And I'm hoping in the future I can, I don't know, maybe get more time by either, I don't know, cutting hours from work or, I don't know, something. Something in the future. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, apart from all of that, thank you all so much for making it to the end of this video. Like, if you made it this far into the video, that, like, that's insane. Thank you. I appreciate all of you guys that are watching. You know, even if you haven't made it this far, thank you. Even though you, have, you probably didn't see this. It's currently 3 a.m. I'm probably going to get... It's currently 3 a.m. I'm going to head to bed soon. Hopefully you guys are getting some good night's sleeps. Uh, I don't know. I think school started back up. Hopefully you guys are doing good there. If you're not in school, if you're, I don't know, doing IRL stuff, you know, that, that's cool too. But anyway, thank you all so much for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. And I will talk to you all later.